One of the principles of the Calculus Video Project is to design instructional resources that incorporate insights from the research literature on the teaching and learning of calculus. This research has documented the significance of quantitative reasoning for supporting students' conceptual understanding of key ideas in calculus. The focus of this video is to explain what it means to construct a quantitative understanding of two important calculus topics, instantaneous rate of change and the definite integral. A quantitative understanding of constant, average, and instantaneous rate of change relies upon productive conceptualizations of ratio, rate, and continuous variation. A ratio is a multiplicative comparison of the measures of two non-varying quantities, while a rate defines a proportional relationship between varying quantities measures. A rate is therefore an invariant multiplicative relationship between the measures of covarying quantities. Constructing a rate involves images of variation, as well as the expectation that as two quantities vary, multiplicative comparisons of their measures remain constant. Rate of change is a quantification of two covarying quantities and results from a multiplicative comparison of corresponding changes in their measures. The rate of change is constant if corresponding changes in the quantity's measures are proportional. Conceiving changes in quantities measures as quantities themselves involves a quantitative operation with attention to a point of reference. So constructing a quantitative understanding of constant rate of change requires students to construct changes in quantities values as quantities themselves, and then to abstract an invariant multiplicative relationship between corresponding changes in the quantities values. The idea of average rate of change is important for characterizing the covariation of quantities whose measures vary at a non-constant rate with respect to each other. Let's assume f is a nonlinear differentiable function. We define the average rate of change of f over a particular interval as the constant rate of change of a linear function that has the same change in output values as the function f over the interval. Being a nonlinear function, f of x does not vary at a constant rate with respect to x. This means that changes in f of x are not proportionally related to corresponding changes in x. However, for any x value in the domain of f, there is an interval sufficiently small containing the x value over which f of x varies at essentially a constant rate with respect to x. Of course, since f is not a linear function, f of x does not vary at a constant rate with respect to x over any interval of f's domain. However, over intervals sufficiently small, the covariation of f of x and x is indistinguishable from quantities that vary at a constant rate with respect to each other. In calculus, one often refers to the instantaneous rate of change of one quantity with respect to another. This term can be misleading to students, since a rate of change is a multiplicative comparison of changes in quantities measures. The quantification of a rate of change entails a multiplicative comparison of corresponding changes in the values of covarying quantities. So although instantaneous rate of change is a quantity, its quantification requires attention to the variation of an average rate of change as the width of the interval over which it is computed tends to zero. Since rates of change always occur over an interval of the input variable, even infinitesimally small intervals, our videos support students' interpretation of instantaneous rate of change as average rate of change over an interval so small that the changes in the quantity's measures are essentially proportional. The input and output quantities vary essentially at a constant rate over these very small intervals, making the graphs look linear. This concept is often referred to as local linearity, although local constant rate of change is a more quantitative description. Many calculus curricula support students' understanding of instantaneous rate of change, or derivative at a point, as the slope of the line tangent to the function's graph. The problem with this interpretation is that most students do not understand this slope as conveying anything about the covariation of the input and output quantities represented by the function's graph. Each time I teach calculus, I use a particular geometric visualization software to display a graph of a differentiable function with a line tangent to a particular point on the graph. This software enables me to quickly change the scale on either the x or y axis 
while maintaining the relationship represented by the graph. I ask students to approximate the value of the function's derivative at the x value corresponding to the point of tangency before and after I've manipulated the scale on the x or y axis. Most students will claim that the value of the derivative has changed because the slantiness of the tangent line has changed. Of course, the value of the derivative has not changed since I did not manipulate the function being graphed, nor did I change the x value of the point of tangency. Students who expect that the value of the derivative has changed are focusing on an attribute of the tangent line, its slantiness, without imagining quantifying this attribute by multiplicatively comparing corresponding changes in the measures of the function's input and output quantities, and attending to how this multiplicative comparison varies as the change in the input quantity becomes infinitesimally small. Students' responses to tasks like this indicate limitations of an exclusively geometric interpretation of instantaneous rate of change. Let's move on to discuss a quantitative conception of definite integration. Recall that we defined the average rate of change of a nonlinear differentiable function f over a particular interval as the constant rate of change of a linear function that has the same change in output values as the function f over the interval. Introducing linear functions defined over each successive subinterval of a uniform partition of f's domain results in a piecewise linear approximation of the nonlinear function f. The constant rate of change within each subinterval of the partition is an approximation of how f of x varies with respect to x over the respective subinterval. Graphing the rate of change of this piecewise linear approximation of f results in a step function where the constant value within each subinterval of the uniform partition represents the average rate of change of f of x with respect to x over the interval. The product of each average rate of change and the width of the interval gives an approximation of the change in the function values of f over the respective subinterval. Summing these changes gives an approximation of the net change in f of x over a particular interval of its domain. Increasing the number of subintervals of the uniform partition improves the accuracy of the approximation, but does not change the quantity being approximated. So the meaning for average rate of change our videos support is essential to constructing a quantitative understanding of Riemann sums, definite integrals, and ultimately to the relationship between rate of change and accumulation expressed in the fundamental theorem of calculus. In conclusion, the instructional resources developed by the Calculus Video Project team do not restrict students' understanding of derivatives and integrals to geometric interpretations. Our videos enable students to understand these common interpretations as consequences of a quantification process. The primary value of the meanings our videos promote lies in their potential to support a coherent understanding of the fundamental theorem of calculus. Devoting time to understanding how our resources encourage students' quantitative reasoning will enable you to use these resources in a way that has the greatest potential to impact your students' learning. Best of luck, and I hope you have a wonderful semester.